right everyone we're out here february 2nd groundhog day out here doing some digging on a property in stowe house was built in 58 we got jason and we got billy with us today so we're uh hoping to find some cool stuff here and there will be some door knocking in the future so stick around and see you on the first some silver gilt on it my look there's is that another piece or no that? that's the that's how i knew it was good so my first target and I swear, I'm going to start digging this stuff live because I should just know better. An old buckle. Suspender clip, actually. Cool deal. First target. So I'm out here... Uh doing this wasn't expecting this um we know the property's old the house isn't that old um ian had a good shot but if billy takes the camera here i got a flat button i'll try to clean it up a little bit um shankless um, let me get a let me get some skin on it um, see if there's any kind of design on it. Rub this on my pants real quick. Um, not really seeing any kind of design at this time on it. Uh, definitely, definitely way old, um, which is good what we're looking for um, so there it is folks all right I got a tone on the simplex hitting 78 I'd say about eight inches down I'm in park mode I just hope I uh, got it with the pinpointer so I'm not sitting here digging and digging and digging. <clears throat> Let's see if I got it. Yep. Yeah, see what it is. Oh, it's the coin, not silver. It is a wheat. So my very next target, I popped the plug and you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it. Right there. On the uh, simplex, it actually hit pretty low, um, 60s. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a uh, looks like it's gonna be a rosy. Yeah. What is it, Jason? Oh, uh, rosy. Sweet. A 1959 Roosevelt. So I'll take it. That's a good good start to my day. Jason's got a 90-91 about six inches down here. What's your best silver day? How many? Four? That's 92 in the plug. Uh, four is my best. Well, you're at two already. quarter man yeah that came 
pretty high. Jason's on a roll with another silver. Let's see if we can get in here and look at it. There it is right there. This one came in in 81, 82. It's surprisingly, because it was standing almost straight up. This one's going to be another Roosevelt. 47. Just to show you guys, I'm not BSing. That's what it is. There it is. I'm off to Go a find good it. start. Go find. All right. All right, we're doing a live dig here with uh, Ian. Hello. What are we coming up with, Ian? 91, about seven, eight inches down. Yeah. Got a tree root right there. Awesome. Ooh. Not gonna be an easy dig. I would love to pull silver today. I think yeah. Jason's got three of them already. This might just be a quarter. It's not deep enough. Oh no! Oh, look at this. It's silver. A medallion? It's a pendon. Yeah, it's a pendon. Without a doubt, that's silver. Oh. Yeah, probably. Sterling, ring. yep. Ring just like a dime. Yep. Cool. See, that's what I say about Ian on my side of the yard. Oh, yeah? I'm still got. Oh. What the hell is this? <laughs> hey, buddy, make sure you stop right before that tree. Uh huh. <laughs> this is my side. <laughs> cool deal. To clean that up. Looks like a. Uh, Catholic St. Peter. Yep, St. Peter. We'll find dude. All right, I got an 84 here. Let's hope I uh, got it pinpointed down. I want to get on the silver board. Dusty wind. Well, oh, just another wheat penny. Okay, so we moved into the backyard here. It is completely sopping wet. A lot of flashing. Jason's working the very, very back of the yard. What you got there, man? Yeah. Oh, that's what I saw when I popped it out. And that looks like a hole from a square nail to me. Um, I mean, it's possible it could be a washer. I'm thinking more like it was a coin turned into a washer. Let's see. Because that looks like a square nail. And I dinged it too. Typical Jason it, fashion. Yeah, I flemmed it. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to ID it if it is a coin, but for my guess, it looks pretty thin. It does look pretty thin, but that doesn't look like a manufactured hole either. I could be wrong. If you guys know better, I'm not, I don't dig a lot of this stuff, but. It almost looks like a. A wristwatch face like that yeah. center hole would be where the hands yeah. come out but you see how ununiform it is so it's not like machine made I mean we know the property goes back to the 1850s so yeah I don't know man that's cool though whatever that is straightening so i just found and i should have gone live famous last words it was ringing up a 50. you just never know with these mid-tones that's why i don't want to really go live but it's twice today i should have that is sweet that's really cool i wonder if that's an old uh military pin i don't know
Yeah, uh, we're here with Jay. He must have found something, so take it away, Jay. Well, I'm gonna take the camera here from Billy. Um, yeah, so we really haven't been finding a whole lot in the backyard, but I just kind of popped this out. And at first, oh, it had me going, because it came out handle first. But then you can see how the bowl is literally flaking off in a sheet of silver. So, I'm gonna go mess with Ian. Tell him it's sterling. Cause I'm a dick. So Ian tells me since I landed the permission I have to do an intro, so. Here's my intro. I'm in. <laughs> House was built in 1958. Yeah. <laughs> well, for the most part, it's uh, clad here, but you can see that right as the plug is. It is a Susan B. Anthony Dollar, 1979. I don't think I've ever found one before. Cool deal. So we're hunting this new permission and uh, I popped this out. Um, most, we're not really finding much, mostly just clad stuff. Um, this is a pretty old button. There's no back to it or shank unless it's pushed in the other thing. I don't see any designs on the front. It's pretty light, um, but it's been here for a while. So that's what it is. See you when we get something else. Three and a half. So Billy just found a pretty cool little button. Check that out. I'm gonna get it out in the sun. I don't know what that is. That's a dove or a bird or I don't know, man. It's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, it was coming in 81, 83. Good find, man. All right, so I had to take this back to the truck, clean it up, because I wasn't exactly sure what I had. But after looking at it through the loop, I'll have to get a better picture of these. I have myself some 10 carat earrings. They're like clasped together. That is awesome. I'm missing a stone in one of them, but that's all right. That is sweet. First gold of the year. Cool deal. So I wanted to get back to this earring here. I know you guys would probably be pissed that I didn't show the dig or anything, but I mean, look at it. It was covered in mud. The only thing that gave it away was the prongs. So I cleaned it up, dipped it in water, looked at it under the loop. And it is, you know, like I said, 10K. So sorry we didn't show the live dig. It came in at a 49 on the simplex. And I just thought, it was, like I said, I thought it was a ball of aluminum foil. But I'll show a better picture of that in the wrap-up. So, my apologies. All right, we're at another permission. Uh, the guy only wants two of us because it's so small. I landed this one. I just dug me a silver ring. If I can get this thing to hold up on me. I 
to make sure it's silver. Wasn't really expecting to find much back here, but that is cool. Yep, 925. Cool deal. Well, Ian and I are over here taking and doing this uh, house that uh, we got permission at. And I came up across a signal that was about 67, 68. Dug it up. Come, turned out that it was a button. Nice little button, too. Uh, a little bit older. Can't wait to clean that up and uh, get a little bit more detail out of it. But I'll take it. Cool fine, fine. dude. All right, we're back home. Doing a wrap up here. Here's all the clay that I dug today. If I had to guess, that's probably over three dollars. Right there's a Susan B. Anthony. Some quarters. Blah blah blah. Um, one thing that's not in here is uh, the St. Christopher that I gave the homeowner. But I'm going to go over this. I have to look this up. An eagle of some sort. More likely a pin. I did not film this. So just a shell gas station token. This marble is cool. Completely clear. But it looks like a mirror. That's hard to explain. I mean, it's cool. Found an old key here. Little sunflower thingamabob. Garbage, but kind of cool. Seven wheats. A silver, big silver ring with some sort of gem in there. An old buckle, suspender clip, whatever. And my find of the day. And I'm going to clean this up, obviously, and have it in the actual wrap-up wrap-up. But it is 10 karat earrings, gold earrings. So, dig it all, guys, because I thought that was a mangled piece of aluminum foil. So that's my hunt for the day. Who wants to go next? Billy can go. Billy? Yeah. Ain't much there for me. Bunch of clad. I got a bag of a truck, Chevy. Got a, uh, what do they call it? A cherry bomb uh, Chevy uh, car. Uh, old Lincoln or Continental or uh, Cadillac car. And a Jeep. A couple buttons. Some kind of a. Uh, tag for something some kind of cosmetic or something i got a nickel a couple dimes and three wheats uh there was 1954 1956 and 1957 and all those pennies as it is nada there's jason well hey here we are back with the star of the show ah, 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 yeah so we found the gold Stuff yeah, shit. yeah. Who found it? Over in my section. We already discussed this. Bullshit. All right. So here's my better finds of the day. Um, let me, uh, get you guys up here. So I get this beautiful, beautiful plated spoon. I mean, just look at all the fancy on that thing. Um, I wish it would have been solid sterling, but hey, whatever. Um, I ended up with six wheats. I did get a 1942 Canadian, which this is got good old George on the front. Um, I got this thing. I'm still thinking it's a coin. Uh, you know, it's got the center punch, and if you if you look at it, I mean, it's 
at least with the naked eye, it's not a very <coughs> uniform punch hole. To me, it's very reminiscent of a square nail. Um, so I think that could be a coin, might just be a washer, I don't know yet. Um, I did get this round button, um, doesn't appear to be anything on it. Uh, same thing with the flat, although I think there's something coming through on it, but I can't quite make it out yet. And then I got a trio of silver dimes, 47 rosy, 59 rosy, and a 37 merc. So I guess that's it for this week's Dig and CF History. Later, guys.